It is our first full day of our Centre Parks holiday. We have got lots of shenanigans planned for the day, but first, bacon. And here we have it, boys and girls. Cooked breakfast, nice orange juice, stupid blood pressure tablets. What a way to start the day. It's actually quite nice. It's not even nine o'clock, it's 8.30 in the morning. The sun is out, it's reasonably warm. It's t-shirt weather out here. This is a bit of a result. It is supposed to rain later in the day. I bought 20 ponchos off of Amazon. So if it does rain, we're ponchoed up this time, so fingers crossed. We've got a lot on today. As previously mentioned, before all that, it's bacon time. Um, yeah, so after last night's shenanigans of getting completely lost, I've now got to get Anna to this spa where she's having a Swedish massage this morning. You're looking forward to a Swedish massage? I'm really looking forward to my deep one, but... Yeah, yeah, they phoned and rearranged her deep tissue massage for a Swedish one, because I guess the deep person's not in and has been replaced by a Swede. So I've come out with the map so I don't get really lost again. I think we go this way, but I now need to spend some time with the map. Oh no, in fact, opposite. So Village Square is this way, Waterfront and Plaza, which is where we're going, is this way. So we were already going completely the wrong way. I said it in the previous Centre Parks video. I'll probably say it in every Centre Parks video. We are not cut out for all these hills. Look at that slope behind me. I'm not angling the camera funny. Basically falling down a hill. Both of us with dodgy knees. Take a picture of what? It's a babbling brook. What is a babbling brook? Um, what, that puddle? We call that a puddle where I'm from. Oh, babbling. That's called babbling, is it? Listen, listen, listen it's soothing. This makes me want to wee. We're almost at the waterfront, which looks like a big lake with a beach and stuff, which is pretty cool. I think this is where we're coming for breakfast later in the week, because we've got breakfast booked at the Pancake House, which I think is here, as is the Adventure Golf, which we're also doing. There's pretty lights over there. They'd be nice in the evening. Mm -hmm. This isn't where we're supposed to be now, but at least we found somewhere. So we found Adventure Golf, which is next to the Pancake House and the lake and the drop that I want you to do. I think that'd be fun. I think, because that might fix you. And I think where you're going to be rubbed is over here, the other side of this bridge. I thought looking at the map, we could go to the supermarket on the way and grab some stuff for dinner tonight. Cause we've got all those, we've got like four disposable barbecues and only three more nights. So, oh wow. Yeah, there is golf. But it seems that the Aquasana massage place is actually nearer than the uh, than the supermarket, so cool that is quite cool. So I think I'm going to drop Anna off for a massage, then I'm going to go to the supermarket and then walk her back again, because the last thing anybody wants is for Anna to get lost on the way back after a massage and lose all the, the happiness that she'll have got from being rubbed. Because we're going swimming this afternoon. We don't want a grumpy Anna, do we? Do we want a grumpy Anna? No, yeah. no grumpy Anna. <laughs> this guy. He's my new friend, he's called Tree. So yeah, here we have the Aqua Sana and an actual hotel next to it, which I didn't know they had a hotel at Centre Parks. Yeah, but I didn't know before. Right, that's Anna dropped off for her massage, which gives me an hour to do some shopping, find Starbucks and have a coffee, and then be back there to walk her back again, and then swimming! Well, there we have the plaza which contains all of this stuff. So specifically, what I'm looking for is, ooh, Starbucks, but probably first, shop. Okay, so this isn't like the other center parks that we went to. This is basically a shopping center in here. We've got a big sports bar showing boxing. There's actually another entrance to the Aquasana over there. So I've told Anna when she's done, if she comes out that entrance, walks around these badminton courts, Starbucks is literally there, which is where I'll be waiting. We've also got ice cream. We've got whatever Jules is. I think that's a fancy shop. There's cloves and whatnot. What I haven't found just yet is the supermarket, which I think I have to go back outside and along there. For found it. Well, shopping complete. Cold brew purchased. Anna's knocked you out for 40 minutes. I think I found Las Iguanas. It looks like it's up here. Well, yeah, but I thought we might get uh, above all this. So I guess I'll just have to sit next to this really calming pond and read a book while sipping my coffee. People sometimes question why we uh, why we bring short stay away with us. 
obviously we like to treat short stay and take him for a nice holiday but it is nice for us to be able to come out in pairs throughout the week as well so me and Anna are out this morning all four of us will be out this afternoon and this evening for swimming and bowling but then tomorrow morning me and short stay are off out for activities um, Anna gets to do stuff with it's good it's a good little mix it means Andy isn't forced to do loads of stuff he doesn't want to do because quite frankly he would hate this whereas I don't like it how was your massage then? You're not really saying words. Is this happy or pain? I need a sports massage. Why? To my buttock. I see. Do they do that here? But my buttock. That's what hurts. What, you can't book a separate sports massage? I did see one. But I have really extremely tight calves. Okay. Well, I knew that years ago. But yeah, splendid. So you feel better now, do you? I need my buttons to do it. I see. <laughs> This thing is just awesome. I need to convince Anna that she should jump off it. Andy would like that. If we could convince him to come down here. Yeah, he would love that. I got some chalk at the shop, so we fixed this. I like to have my name on things. Quick recharge. We are now heading out for swimming. We have made it to the end of our little driveway. Andy insisted on wearing his coat. He's already taken it off and Anna is carrying it. This is fairly standard stuff. We're just going to have a little look to see where bowling is later. Uh, we're looking for any clues there might be as to where the bowling might be. Currently not seeing much in the way of clues. We've got 10 minutes until our swimming slot. I don't know if they'll let us in early. We don't really want to go there and be turned away and have 10 minutes of Andy not being happy about it. So we're really trying to take the seat. We thought it was going to take us longer to get down here because when I did this walk last night, I think I came a really stupid way. We've just come directly here in like six minutes. Whereas last night, it was probably about 15 minutes from here for me to get back to our lodge. I'm not so hot with the map. Water fun. Hey, hey, hey. The swimming pool, yeah. gotta say, oh, I'm sinking. A little bit disappointed compared to what we're used to, um, both in terms of the previous set of parks we went to and Disney. This seems to be it for outside, it's just a tiny little pool like the size of a big paddling pool. There's rapids out here but Andy doesn't want to do them because they're proper rapids, it's like a slide and I don't think my knees are up to them and inside there's only the wave pool and he hates wave pools and then there's slides. We've booked to do this all three days that we're here. <laughs> I don't think we're going to be here very long today. You just look furious. Look out. It'll be fine. Doing some bouncing. <laughs> there we go, doing some exercise. Andy requested bouncing be on camera. <laughs> that is very good bouncing. You're doing your stretching now. Can you see it on the front? Is that enough? <laughs> he's doing a tree. Yeah, he's focusing on the camera on the front of the GoPro. This is the benefit of ruining the, ruining the old GoPro in France. We now have a fancy one. He's a pretty good boy. <laughs> I don't know who's more impressed about the fact that the GoPro now has a front facing screen so that we can see what's on there, me or him. I think it's definitely him because he's calling me to turn the camera back around, there you go. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, we haven't left this little area of the pool. Um, as far as pools go, this one is pretty rubbish. This is the only outside bit other than the rapids that neither me or Anna can go on because of her back and my knee. There's no other outside area. When we went to the other centre parks a few years ago, there was a whole big outdoor area with the plunge pool and all that kind of stuff. So um, we're going to go and try and find some kind of hot tub, but because Andy won't do rapids or slides and we can't really do rapids or slides because of our injuries, 
we're kind of limited to just sitting here in the sun, which is nice, but I don't think we can do it for three hours a day every day like we planned to. We're gonna do some squats as well. That's a big squat. Very oh good. Do you feel the burn? I don't know how to do it. Yeah. What do you want to do? Just that. Do I have to put my legs up or my feet on the floor? I don't need that, huh? I bet I'm swimming. Yeah, you are, Mark. Ah, Oh, okay. Blimey. <laughs> like that? Yeah. And then the other way. <laughs> <laughs> that is my fault, sorry. <laughs> Andy's leaving me in a workout. <laughs> well done. That was awesome. Yeah, come as well, look. Bouncy. Bouncy. <laughs> I'm not really cool, by the way. Pink, pink. There she is. Female. You had a sleep. Yes, you did have a sleep, didn't you, for about an hour after your massage? Yes. Go on then, jumping jack. Jumping That's just jumping. <laughs> there we go. You're losing your shorts. Have you come here and your shorts? <laughs> Swimming complete. This is the look of disappointment at that pool compared to others, compared to the Alton Towers water park, compared to the Disney one, compared to the other centre parks. Just really disappointing. We're booked in there for every day. I don't think we'll be coming every day. Well, boys and girls, we are having a barbecue extravaganza for dinner. We have got Chinese kebabs, we have got barbecue kebabs, we have got sausages, their burgers, their sausages, cheese for burgers, pile o bread, and then out here we have two barbecues almost ready to cook on. And this hair beast really wants to get involved in it immediately. He's desperate for a hamburger. And now using the power of internet magic, I will cook this food instantly. Ta-da! I think that was the same hand I had at the start of that instantaneous trick and transition. One problem with having pink sauce on this meat is it's hard to know that it's cooked because it's still pink, but I think it's cooked. We'll just melt in some cheese. And then we've got bread, salad, coleslaw, sauces, females, Where's dogs. Potato salad? I thought I picked up coleslaw. Never mind. Potato salad then. I was aiming for coleslaw, but I guess you win because you prefer potato salad. Holiday's ruined. They had barbecue chocolate in the shop. I've melted it on the barbecue and I'm having it with a marshmallow. Should've got biscuits and you're just eating salad like a maniac. There's chocolate covered marshmallows and you're wasting mouth on salad. Ridiculous. Boys and girls, this is the system for the marshmallows. <laughs> You cook them, then you put them between two of the chocolate digested biscuits that were left in your welcome pack, and then you dip that in the melted chocolate, and then it gets all over your face, clothes and shoes, and you have to have a shower before you go bowling in a little bit. I know this because this is my second one. So, boys and girls, this is the technique that I was just describing. We have our toasted marshmallow. We fry, without dropping the toasted marshmallow, to get two chocolate biscuits out. You could do this with plain biscuits, but you don't have any. The chocolate biscuit is slight overkill because we're going to dip it in chocolate. Ah, ah, ah. You then try and pull the stick out. It's really hot. And then you dip it in there. And then. That'll do. This is basically just a dessert vlog now, apparently. This is the other thing I got in the shop. Eh? I've never seen this before in my life. Um, it is gourmet popping corn. I don't know if it's just made to look like it's still on a cob or if it's actually still on a cob. That will either be later in this video or tomorrow or something. Keep your eyes peeled for that because it fascinates me. Now suitably polished up and had a nice rest. We actually had our dinner about half past four because just everything was happening early today. It is still day two, yes. Uh, we've been back chilled out for like three hours and it is now nearly half past seven we're heading out again back to where we were this afternoon for the swimming the village square it's there with this one yeah there yeah there like he's saying village square we're gonna do some bowling this is the first time in years they've made us wear the actual bowling shoes size 14 good stuff here we have anna about to get a strike probably you're so annoying when you play yeah, it's when we're going to win again. <laughs> oh, 
just how hot it is in here. It's so hot. And to make matters worse, Anna's winning. anyone else so because it's warm and my knee hurts we decided to call it a draw I think that's fair we're running out of time we've only got five minutes left so we're not gonna get this second game complete do need to have it on record but this time around I am winning I'm sure you all agree we should completely disregard the first game Andy is completely shattered by the way it's getting on for 20 to 9 not close to bedtime and it's not like he's done loads today um, while me and Adam were out this morning he was just hanging out didn't get up particularly early he's just done that hour of swimming but it seems to have wiped him out completely that and the walking and he is ready for bed must be all the fresh countryside air as well i'm zoomed in not to show you the scorecard that i'm in the lead just as the timer runs down i'm zoomed, ignore what anna's saying i just want to show everyone how they've spelt short stay's name yeah uh, whatever look at that glorious kevin there should officially be a camera on me at all times last row last go heroic strike what a man i am victorious it's nice to be out in a little bit of cool breeze as well it was so hot in there but it's lovely and cool out here now it's like quarter to nine nice uh, nice evening now it was supposed to rain all week and i told it was going to rain all week we've had no rain all day it's been lovely lovely old weather yes we are going back now short stays just off over there we've lost him just the three of us now there you go confirmation that peasants can afford for uh, center parks how you doing mr peasant we've made it back to the cabin Anna is officially broken but luckily she now doesn't have to move for like 16 hours yes because you're not out until tomorrow afternoon when we've got swimming we've actually updated the chalkboard over here with what andy's doing so the rest of our week uh, tomorrow, so Wednesday is tomorrow, me and Shortstay are going crossbow shooting in the morning uh, and then we're swimming, we're going to Las Iguanas tomorrow, so that'll be next Tuesday's video and then still more shenanigans to come later in the week. Excuse my handwriting and the fact I seem to have written Tuesday twice, um, despite being a qualified teacher I never actually learned to write on the blackboard, which is disgraceful really, but we are back, it's nearly nine o'clock, Andy's just hidden in his room to sleep. Anna is broken on the sofa, so this feels like a perfect opportunity for me to crack out the Steam Deck and carry on with Horizon Zero Dawn, because no! it's awesome! We've got a football board game that we need to play at some point as well, but that can wait till late in the week, I think. No, me and Shorts don't play that. I bought that at the weekend at the UK Games Expo. But for now, we'll say goodbye. Toodle pip. <laughs>